Once you have a partner program set up and you're ready to start getting referrals, your next step is to generate links for your partners that will properly track which partner sent you which lead. Now, promo tools are an easy way for you to share these links with your partners and also a way to track which promotions are actually working. At the end of the day, promo tools are just a bit of code that you share with your partners that contains their tracking ID. The idea is that they then share that code with their audience. The code might be a simple link or it might be a banner or an email. But either way, the goal is that your partner's audience clicks on it, visits your site, and buys your products. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create promo tools, share them with your partners, and understand the stats that get created for you. I'll also show you how to manually create tracking links in case you want to do that instead. But first, let's take a look at each type of promo tool to see all the different ways that your partners can make you rich. Well, I can't guarantee that part, but here's how to use the tools anyway. To find your promo tools, go to Partners, then Programs, and then select your partner program. You'll find the Promo Tools tab on the left side. Each partner program in here has its own set of promo tools. In the Promo Tools tab, you'll see the Promo Tools collection. This is where you'll find every tool that you've created for this program. Let's break down all the fields that you see in Promo Tools. You can see the Promo Tool name here. Use Promo Tool URL to set up where people will end up when they click on your Promo Tool. Campaign name is similar to UTM variables. You can have multiple tools in one campaign and look at the campaign stats in aggregate. This isn't required, so just be aware you won't always see a value here. Ad name is just like campaign name, but for an ad. The same thing applies where you can have multiple tools in the same ad to look at the stats together, but again, this is not required. Visits here show the number of times people have clicked on this tool. Opt-ins shows you the number of contacts who opted in after clicking on this promo tool. Number of sales tells you how many sales you've got from the people who have arrived after clicking on your promo tool. Commission shows you the dollar amount of commissions and refunds lets you see the dollar amount of refunds that came through this tool. If you want to add a new promo tool, click add new promotional item and that will bring up the promo tool creation pop-up. Promo tool name is where you want to name your promo tool and it's a good idea to name it after the product or the pages you're promoting rather than your dog or something weird like that. URL to promote is the page that this tool will send people to when they click on your link. Now make sure that this page has an Entreport tracking script installed on it. You can name a product group if this tool is part of a certain set of products you're promoting. This information shows up in the Entreport Partner Center and helps your partners know which promo tools go with which products. If this tool is part of a marketing campaign, use campaign name to designate that. And just like product groups, this information will show up in the Partner Center. If this tool is part of a specific ad, this is where you can name that ad. And again, this will show up in the Partner Center. If you look at Promo Tool Type, you'll see five different types of promo tools that your partners can use to promote your products. Each one contains information to cookie people who click your partner's promo tool so that we can keep track of where they came from. The banner is an image you select and upload to Entreport to create the promo tool. Partners can then download the banner from their Partner Center and place it on their web pages or emails. So for example, you could add your logo or some sort of a seal that you created for your coaching business. Partners can then add that to their site and then get credit when people click on the image and purchase. You can also create a light box when you create a promo tool. Now light boxes are designed as pop-ups to be placed on your website. So just FYI, you shouldn't put them in emails because they won't work right. You'll upload the image you want to use for the light box and you'll be able to access it from the partner center. Now if you go this route, it's a good practice to use an image that has a call to action, something like click here to get my out of this world recipe. This gives someone something to do on their site when they see the pop-up. A standard link is one that displays your Entreport tracking domain, and this promo tool will send prospects to the tracking domain first and then redirect them to the URL to promote. You can send standard links to your contacts as merge fields in an email. With standard links, you can change the URL to promote within Entreport and your partner's existing links will not break. And this is helpful if you decide to change where you want new referrals to go after a campaign is started. But there are also direct links, and these hyperlinks display the URL to promote directly to your partners. Like standard links, you can send them via email merge fields, and you can still find them in the Partner Center as well. But unlike standard links, direct links can break if you decide to change the URL to promote after your partners have started to use the links. Because of that, direct links are best used for shorter promotions that you don't plan to revisit in the future. Email message is a promo tool type that lets you create a promotional email. Your partners then copy the email and send it out to their lists. You'll need to use the merge field menu in the tool to add standard or direct link promo tools to the body of the email. 
This tool is designed to work with HTML email editors. So if your partners don't have access to that kind of editor, no problem. Just send them a copy individually and allow them to add their own promo tools. Okay, now that you've created promo tools, I'll quickly talk to you about manually creating links for your partners. We found over the years that some more seasoned partner program enthusiasts like doing it this way instead. But before I start, there are a few things to note right off the bat. First, you need to make sure that the page you're linking to has Entreport tracking scripts on it. We have a whole video that shows you how to do this in the Getting Started course. And if you're using Entreport pages, the scripts are already on there. Second, you need to be using Entreport forms to capture leads and sales. That should be pretty obvious. Third, this does work based on your partner's ID number, which is actually their contact ID number as well. To see a contact's ID number, navigate to their record, and you'll see their ID number in two places. First, you'll see it in the URL of your browser here. And second, you'll see a contact field for contact ID here. Now, creating the link is as simple as adding this to the back end of any normal link. Question mark ORID equals, and then the merge field for contact ID. So, a full link might be something like https colon slash slash yourwebsite.com slash page name question mark ORID equals contact ID. Everything before the question mark is just the URL of the page that you want the link to go to, while everything after it you'll need to add yourself. This variable here, ORID, is short for the Entreport Referrer ID, and this is the merge field for contact ID. When you send this to your partners in an email from Entreport, that merge field will get filled out just like any other merge field, and that link will be ready to use. You can also take this one step further and simply copy and paste the contact's ID number into the URL instead of the merge field like this, assuming your partner's ID is number 12345, of course. The next step is to get them to your partner so that they can use them. There are two ways to do that. The first and easiest way is to send them off in an email. Now, this doesn't work with the more complicated promo tools like banners and email copy, but for links, this works great. Just create an email and go to the merge field icon just like you did with the manual links. Then scroll down until you see affiliate links. There you'll see a list of all your direct and standard affiliate links, and you can just pop it in right into the email. For the more complicated promo tools, you'll need to create an affiliate center where your partners can log in and grab their code. We covered how to do that in a separate video, so check that out if you're going to go deep with promo tools. And that's the whole enchilada. Partner programs are one of the best ways you can spread the word about your business. You've learned a lot, so take a minute to savor your achievement, and when you're ready, let's move on to some other features. Mm -hmm.